What's up guys, this is Heist. Today we're coming at you from the Colorado Railroad Museum once again. This time I've got something pretty cool to show you. It is a stack device that we use on the Denver Underground Western number 346. This is called the Ridgeway Spark Arrester. And no, it's not a funny hat. It's actually a very effective means of blocking cinders from exiting the stack and preventing forest fires. It was designed in the 19s, the early teens, and it was patented in the early 1920s, I believe 1921, and it is named after its inventor, H.W. Ridgeway, who I believe was the CNS's superintendent of motive power. But this is a lot bigger and a lot more substantial than most spark arresters, and it was one commonly used by the Colorado and Southern. We use it on the Denver and Rear Grand Western 346, A, because it's very effective, but also B, because 346 was leased to the Colorado and Southern and would have historically worn one of these. This is built off of the patented plans, but it is not an original. Now, the neat thing about this is that as you look at the screen, you can see that it's got quite a narrow aspect ratio. And that means when a cinder comes up and tries to fly through this, it's more than likely too big in one dimension to fit through those slots and won't make it out. The additional cool piece is it's not just this screen, which is contoured in a very interesting way. There's also the circular plate on the inside as well that gives the first pass at trying to knock the cinders in. Then these two plates are set at two different angles. And so the likelihood that a cinder coming straight out the stack, this is the top, the stack would be there. The likelihood that a cinder comes straight out the stack, makes it through angle number one or angle number two is extremely unlikely. And believe me, I've gotten to watch this thing at night and it looks like an old popcorn popper machine where the popcorn kernels come up and then they get funneled into the bowl. You don't see hardly anything come out of this thing. It's kind of incredible. We'll hopefully be able to mount it up and show it off at night when 346 gets back in service, but she's out of service right now. So this is a really, really nifty thing. The cinders come up and then get knocked down in, into the downpipe. The neat thing is, though, that there's not enough obstruction with the way that it's set up to really block the draft. With the way that the sheet redirects there's the large open top right here. The exhaust gases and exhaust velocity from the locomotive has plenty of time to escape and isn't restricted, but the cinders get knocked down and they come out this downpipe right here. The Ridgeway is also on a hinge so that you can pull this key out and then open the top up using that handle. And then when you do that, you can run in the winter without any restriction because any spark arrestor adds a little bit. So here's 346 getting her rebuild presently. You can see that some of the flues are cut out. But the reason this device is so effective on 346 is that it has a master mechanics front end, which this is all the components of that, the screening, the baffles, and then the petticoat pipe as well. That all mounts up inside the smoke box over the blast nozzle, which would be installed where that wood plate is. And then helps redirect the gases and cinders out the stack. These master mechanic front end locomotives, coal burning, put out a lot of cinders. You can see that 346 carries her own beach wherever she goes, as does Rear Grand Southern number 20. They're both set up the same way. And so the Ridgeway is a really effective way to mitigate that. So it mount on top of the stack, and then this chimney pipe, which is a temporary job that we did to get it in service, would run down and come down and deposit on the side of the track right here. And that little, <laughs> that pipe leaves a snail trail of black along the right of way wherever it goes, because that's where almost all of the cinders end up. It's really an impressive device. If we wander over to the RGS 20, you can see that 20 has a more traditional spark arrester, and it just relies on that special screen, that narrow aspect ratio screen, and that's all that it relies on to prevent cinders from flying out. 
and she definitely spits them out pretty bad. So we're always very serious about fire patrol when we run 20 because we don't want to cause any fires. 20 is actually equipped with its own fire hose and firefighting equipment. Neat fact. That's one of the reasons why 346 has worn a Ridgeway. And that's what the Ridgeway Spark Arrester is all about. It was a neat device used by the CNS and then made replicas of for the Durango and Silverton later in, in the years. But oh, we don't need to talk about those. And because I'm sure it'll come up in the comments, many people know this as a bear trap Spark Arrester. And that's one of those terms that doesn't get used by the railroad. No one at the railroad called the Ridgeway a bear trap. That was a foamer term that was made up, much like the term Jeevo. No one that works for the railroad calls an Evo series locomotive a Jeevo. But I'll get off my soapbox. Anyways, guys, I hope that was informative to you and I hope you learned something. Maybe we'll do a front ends or stacks and spark arresters 101 one of these days. There's certainly a lot to talk about, particularly with all of the older styles of locomotives out there. When you had wood burners, you had even more spark to worry about than with coal burners. So let me know down below if you'd like to see that. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you next time.